All right. Association of American Railroad Safety Operation Belt Conveyor Scales Amended 2009 Table of 2013 Table of Contents General Conveyors and Feed for the Capacity Access Scale Protection Scale Instrument Wind Screen Guards Interference Cabinets Power Sources Instrument Type of the Test Defined Test Simulated um, Load Testing Equipment Tolerance Reference Scale of the Test Load Standard Procedure Test Load Security Means of Marking Requirements Section 1, General, the following intended for the apply of the scales installed with the belt conveyors for the purpose of weighing both the materials carried from the conveyors, the asserting of the system where assertion weight system that would be applied with them become the part and belt conveyors scales used railroad application shall have the accuracy of 0.25%. The section of 25 conveyors, each bale, bell conveyors, which is located with the bridge of the design for the construction with the free of the vibration not subject to the stress. The conveyor string, stringers should be designed for the deflection between the two adjacent ideal idlers with way and with the way air it does not exceed 25,000 25, of an inch under the load of the conveyor length. It should not be longer than 1,000 feet, shorter than 40 feet. Uh, and from the head of the pulley to the center of the tail pulley, each belt conveyor, the belt conveyor scale scale is located. But should be equipped with adequate gravity take up, and does not un allow the slippage of the belt and drive pulley. Maintain the constant tension with the empty main maximum rated the belt conveyor on which the belt scale is located with the free interference of other operations. No weight should be exceeded at an angle. Slip that materials along with the met belt may occur. With the belt conveyor inclined with shall not exceed 18 inches. Shall be no provision and be ensure the weight and the made it material. To, uh, to does not adhere to the belt return of the scale area system system area. All conveyor belt scales shall be installed with the material can test and can be conveniently conducted. The either system shall be designed so the entire content each individual should be may be granted to pass over the scale. The conveyor belt should track certainly with the weight of the air should be extended to the edge of the winding of the rolls under the condition that loaded and unloaded training idlers should, should not be installed at any other sixty feet from the center line of the scale. The belt should be remained with the contact with the idlers weighing element area should not contact with any of the port of the structure of the return belt side for the conveyor line verification design directed to manufacturer shall be made with the conveyor work and performance and scale in our area. Section 7.3, infeed. Sufficient impact and aid installed with each of the infeed to prevent deflection of the belt. All flow infeed, the infeeders, the etc. for positive action design the material flow free through the when open and placed in the operation the material this deposited in the center of the belt so to create the um, side loading condition. The goals this gate shall be um, positively closing the action of the leak. If it does not occur, the scale should be installed with the material will have the rest of the belt prior to the way of the bridge. The first way on the edge of the scale is at least 20 feet, 5 idle Lower spaces with the at, which add at greater than the log loading point and end skirt the boards of skate. Else should be sufficient distance of skirting and allow proper alignment and allow material stabilized. A concave curve shall not be no closer than 40 feet of the nearest scale mounted idler. Section 7.4 Capacity The system shall be designed to the rate of the material flow of the over the scale of the remaining of the 20% of the or 200% of the rated capacity. Section 7.5 Access to scale Adequate safe access to the scale should be provided inadequate walkway to the set and lighting of the service and can be accomplished in safety and ease. 7 6 Protection Scales Instrument Scales Especially instruments should protect with the elements, water, weatherproof control, room with the house, instrument, the purge, air purge condition, fan filters, hot heaters, and so the dust free environments will be created. Scale housing instruments should be secured. The load of receiving elements equipped with the means of the overloading protecting not less than 150% of the rated capacity. Overloading shall not affect accuracy of the scale normal loading range. Range uh, the scalar area the surrounded with the scale shall be kept clean to breathe the material with detrimental with the effect of the performance of the system section seven seven wind screens wind screens shall be erected for the entire way of the area when they are when wind may affect the scale performance. 7-8 Guards. All live portions of the scale are protected with the appropriate guards clearance and recommendation of the scale manufacturer to prevent accident interference with the weighing of the operation of the scales of five idlers on both sides of the scales with the contrasting color. Other suitable means have been used to distinguish the scale of the remainder of the conveyor insulation of the scale has readily, readily be accessible. 7 9 Interference. Hydraulic machinery, large motors, equipment with excessive stress, the vibration shall not be placed in or affixed, affixed to the scale or control room. 710 cabinets where scales and co components that are subject to the rapid extreme change of the temperature or humidity environmental conditions should be installed. 711 power source provision should be taken with the equipment for the effects of the RFIM, EMFI influences. 712 instruments. Uh, instrument conveyor. 
equipment of the prior indicated within elements four, the master weight of the totalizer with the equipment with the recommended element rate of the flow indicated with the recorder with the auxiliary indicator should not be considered part of the weighing master weighing totalizer. A bell conveyor scale should be indicated with the record weight of the term of the pounds, tons, long tons, metric tons, kilograms. The value scale division expressed in the unit shall be equal to one to two five decimal point multiples or salt multiples of one to five. The permanent shall be provided with an audio-visual signal of the rate of the flow is equal to less than 20% when the rate of the flow is equal to greater than 100% of the rate of the capacity of the type of alarm. The audio-visual visual shall be determined with the individual installation value of the scale division recording elements. Some of the indicating elements shall record initial indication, final indication of the master weight, totalized quality delivered in the unit measure of the kilogram, tons, tones, pounds, tons, etc. The date and time of the information shall be recorded in the age of the delivery. The bell conveyor scale system shall be capable of recording results automatically semi-automatic zero load testing. The value of the scale division is shall be no greater than one twelve one hundred twenty five thousandths or one eight hundred the minimum totalized um, load. The master weight totalizer shall not be reasonably resettable without breaking the security means the shall advise when the belt conveyor is operating under the load. The accumulated measure quantity of the master of the totalizer equal digital indicators should retain a minimum rate during the power outage Adjustable component can affect the performance of the device except that the zero adjustment shall be had. Securely an adjustment should not be capable of adjustment with the breaking of security measurements. The range of the zero mechanism shall be, not be, shall be greater than plus or minus state of the rate of capacity with scale breaking. The security means automatic semi-automatic zero setting. The mechanism will be constructed with the resting of the operation carried out with the whole number of the revolutions. Completion of the setting of the whole operation indicated by the audio-visual signal shall alert the operator automatic semi-automatic zero setting mechanism reach the limited adjusting with the zero setting mechanism. Section 713 test is defined. 713.1 official test. The official test bail committee scale system includes the zero loaded test, material test, and if applicable, simulated load test. Test determine the bell scale system is acceptable for the use of the railroad. 713.2 zero loaded test. Zero loaded determined with an arrow zero. Bell conveyor will run with the material. 713.3 material test. The material test belt conveyor scale using normally conveyed by the belt conveyor. The material used the test weight of the reference scale with an accuracy of 0 0.1 tenth of a percent for the material included the initial testing of the new and modified institute insta installation. Subsequent test of the routine testing initial test should be used for insta initial verification belt vendor conveyor and any other modification belt scale in the conveyor system. Subsequent test, the test is used to recertify the belt conveyor system. 3713 simulated load test. The simulated load test is belt conveyor scale using artificial means of loading to determine the performance of the belt conveyor scale. Should not be used on the basis of the cal use uh, just the calibration. All right, section 714, simulated load testing. Simulated load testing equipment testing change the test weights. Uh, electronic calibration is not acceptable. A simulated load test, simulated load testing equipment shall equal greater than 60% of the rated capacity of the scale, which can be not be, cannot be determined by using the multiple R's. When simulated load testing conducted with the testing change following applying the test should be changed should be stored in an area protected with the elements. Test chains should be maintained lubricated to ensure that all rollers are free binds. Test chains are tracked and preparable in internal line of the conveyor belt. All test chains are permanently marked with a readily identifiable mark reference to the corresponding part of the scale. Each of the test chains are used and the reference shall be placed on the corresponding point of the sensing element. The adequate, adequate cable bridge, bridge, bridles hooks and should be provided with a relief and the wrench cable. Wrench cable tension hold the tension test the chains in place on belt recommended with the scale of manufacturer test chains held in place with the winch cable should not be allowed. 715 tolerance reference material tolerance the quantity of material conducted with the material test weight statistically is current accuracy is zero tenth of a percent material testing tolerance acceptance subsequent te testing tolerance relevant testing load of zero point um, plus or minus zero point twenty five hundredths of a tenth percent the variation values obtained with the conducting material test should not be greater than zero point one twenty five hundredths ten uh, hundredths of the ten percent performance the equipment does not determine the averaging individual testing load the results of the testing shall be in the tolerance limit Section 15.3, simulated load testing um, tolerance. All belt conveyors should contain um, plus or minus 0, 2500 20, 20, of the tolerance between the material tests. All belt conveyor scales simulated with load equipment shall be tested repeatedly no greater than one hence of a consecutive intent. 715 zero tolerance of belt conveyor shall be maintained with zero balance for 0 0.6 hundreds of, hundreds of a tent were stated with one more valid revolution empty belt zero indication of 0 0.18 
uh, 100 of rated capacity during the, any portion of the test and following material zero balance do not exceed 1200 of percent related scale capacity. Section 16, reference scale tested load. Section 716, reference scale and test loads. When practical, the reference scale should be tested within 24 hours prior to the being of the use in conjunction with the bell conveyor scale of material test. Reference scale um, with errors exceeded the maintenance tolerance is found with should be verified re 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 with the bell conveyor scale material test error exceeds the maintenance tolerance. If any of the suitable known weight load other than the test weight load is used to verify the, uh, the reference scale accuracy, the weight shall be determined with the reference scale after the reference scale certification before the commencing of the belt scale met materials. The containers, whether the railway car trucks, the boxes shall not leak or load any material with the material with the loss. The actual empty tour weight of the container should be determined with the time of the test and the gross tire of the weight shall be determined with the same scale. Um, the test should may not be conducted with the weight of the test load that has been affected with the environmental conditions. Sample systems may be removed. The material three post weighted test load must be dated below the deterioration. Material testing sample test rejections must be accounted for. 717 standard procedure of testing type in preparation for any test of the personnel similar familiar with the scale and the proportional operational safety operation test. 717.1. Official, official te tests should be uh, made once every six months as directed by the servicing rail carrier or the agents. Any change with the conveyor scale system between the official testing, um, the effects of the calibration scale will require the office to official to, to be tested. They may include but not limited to the conveyor belt replacement structural changes to repair to the conveyor structural realignment scale. Idle, idlers, railway carriers should be contacted with at least two weeks after the official test. Def the test reference scale of the corners with section 1A of the, of the scale. Rail scale of the H44, the other vehicle scale, or hopper scales. Performance scale inspection with the inspection to the uh, inspection to the ensure the scale of the all conveyor components are completely installed with a good condition before the test is made. Conduct three consecutive zero tests without adjustment. Conduct a simulated load test. Conduct a material test. Conduct a zero test. The zero error after should not exceed the tolerance of the section stated in section 715.4. Conduct a simulated to load test to establish new factor for the future simulated load test. 717-2, um, warm-up of a belt established with the sub-zero, um, stable zero reading with the running of the conveyor without the load of the release for 30, min 30 minutes before the testing long with the temperature below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, just below the flow, filtering dead band, inspect the belt cons consistency during the complete belt revolution, the total laser shall not be changed by more than plus or minus zero six hundred of its percent, check the zero times re um, run belt on um, belt can continuously periodically equivalently required to deliver the maximum test load of 800 D's. The whole, whole number of the belt revolution is not less than 10 to 20, or not less than 3 to or 10 minute operation, whichever is greater. For belt conveyor scale, the electronic totalizer of the test may be performed over the period of less than 3 minutes. The whole number of belt revolutions, zero arrows, shall not exceed the tolerance as stated in section 715.4. 713. Material test. The material test should be conducted with the use of actual belt loading condition. The belt loading conditions where applicable include but not limited to conducting the material test using a different different belt loading position type of the size of the product weight on the scale at least one of the bolt speed on both directions away and the calibration adjustment is the speed of the material is will be restarted. Initial verification. Initial verification requires two test loads with each of the three flow rates, the normal flow rate using thirty five percent of the maximum rate of the capacity and intermediate flow of the rate between two points of zero test should be run between the flow rate and be adjusted with the time indicated in 715.4. Subsequent verification. Subsequent verification should include the test and normal use of the flow rate with the other flow rates used in the installation minimum of the three tests that included the testing authority to determine the testing. Only normal use of flow rate necessary for the subsequent verification evidence provided by the system that used appropriate and not though at no less than 70% of the maximum rate of the capacity at less than 80% of the time. Excluding the time limit is unloaded with normal use of the flow rate but do not verify more than 10% of the maximum rate of capacity. For initial subsequent verifications, each of the tests shall be tested with the test load. No minimum limit tested to be loaded should be greater than the following bill. These 800 scale division, divisions load up to may obtain minimum flow with the one ro 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 revolution of the belt. At least one minute operation time of the normal weightment. Normal weightment requires less than 10 minutes of subsequent verification. Testing authority may be required in time requirement. Consecutive official testing demonstrates the system complies with appliance um, tolerances. For belt conveyor scales, the loading system each test is concluded and conducted as follows. Weighing the, weighing the empty containers is certified reference scale, part, purging extra material for the system. Loading containers ensure all material weighed and transferred into the containers. For the load of the containers, certified reference scale, comp compare the net weight, weight of the scale, the reference scale, belt scale, and adjusted weight belt conveyor scale necessary. 
For the belt conveyor scale, the unloading system each of the tests is included. Weight loaded containing the certified super preference scale purge extra materials for the system. Empty the containers, ensure all materials transferred to the containers is weighed with aid of the empty containers certified the reference scale. Compare the net result, weight of the result reference scale belt scale with the adjusting belt and belt conveyor necessary. 7174 simulated load test. A simulated load test shall be performed. The visual test between the official test as part of the maintenance program. Simulated load test may be conducted with one, on a weekly basis, before, preferably as soon as actu actually used the belt possible. The material test should be substituted with the, for a simulated load test. The best test of the recommending for the manufacturer approved with the testing authority, the minimum test that will be equal to the greater than the time of the delivery minimum test load. A. The performance scale app inspection inspects the scale and all conveyor components completely installed with a good condition before the testing any made. Conducting a zero test result with the tolerance to section 715.4. If the result of the tolerance inspect the maintenance of the common error scale will repeat the zero test, zero te zeros are required and the zeros are required. If the result continue to be out, out of the tolerance, do not use the scale weight until the official test is conducted. Apply the test weights to the test chain for the conveyor. Check the scale repeatedly. Run for the three consecutive turns. Stat test the test result with the tolerance. No further action. If the result of out of the tolerance, the conducting belt maintenance, the retesting, the result continuing with out of the tolerance does not use the scale weights until the official test is conducted. Conducts a zero test and conform with the zero did not change. Provides zero test simulated with the low test resolving the testing authority. Section 18 to 9, um, 718, security means. The security means have been broken and should be promptly reported with the testing authority continued with the use of the belt conveyor and discretion with authority. 719, records calibration maintenance and include with the conveyor element line. Analog digital radio overloader material test data should be maintained with the on the site with less three current years for the history of the scale performance. Copies of any of the reports result. Tests of the repair shall be provided with the testing authority as required. The current date of the correction factors simulated with the testing load shall be recorded and maintained in the scale cabinet. 720, section 720 marking requirements. Belt conveyor shall be marked in the following. Rated capacity units with weight per minute per hour. Max minimum and maximum value will scale division belt, belt speed of the feet and meters meters per minute with the belt delivery with capacity load in the items per pound with the foot and kilograms. Operational temperature change with the 14 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Name, initials, trademark, manufacturer, distributor, and model designation positive identifies the pat pattern design, design and device exemption equipment with no moving electronic components, no repetitive serial number, serial number performed with the word abbreviation on a symbol clearly identifies the number as required in serial number. This page is intentionally left blank. Um... Association of Safety Operation Mass Flow Meters.